Good evening, everyone. Got some things we need to talk about tonight. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we do these videos every day to help keep you in the know and save you as much money as we possibly can in the grocery stores. Let's get into it here. Uh, so we are hearing that tonight they are going to have a discussion on whether to raise interest rates. I have kind of mixed feelings about that, uh, especially since we are trying to find a house. Um, prices keep going up everywhere. We see it every day in the grocery stores. As a matter of fact, that is exactly what we do here on the channel is to try and save you as much money as we possibly can in the stores. It has gotten absolutely ridiculous. Um, and the way it's going to get more ridiculous is if prices start going up. Interest rates will certainly cause that to happen. I know we've been hearing that they're talking about raising the debt ceiling, which is terrible. It is absolutely terrible. We're already... 31 trillion dollars in debt why try to make that even higher i don't know quit quit printing the money quit spending the money i don't really know uh i and again i'm just relaying the message but what i'm getting to in this is what we're going to ultimately see in the stores now again we do these every day to try and help save you money but the one thing uh that kind of bothers me about all of this is we're already seeing prices on groceries skyrocket every day every week you know we're seeing the same items go up 10 to 20 cents every couple weeks i saw meat i saw laura's lean beef just a random one here uh go up a dollar in one week an already very high price on arguably good quality meat but 9.99 a pound regular price is absolutely insane it is on sale for $7.99 a pound this week, so if you like Laura's Lane, you may want to get some. Probably You could probably find it cheaper somewhere other than Kroger. Kroger has been the big one that has just been getting so expensive everywhere. I mean, guys, it just I went to Kroger today, and of course, we see more price increases. And, you know, hearing this news about them raising wanting to raise interest rates and and raise the debt ceiling uh, of the country here it, it's just it's it's nerve-wracking it really is because we're already paying so much you know and I know a lot of a lot of our viewers you know a lot of people don't have much they're living day to day they're living week to week uh, you're the ones why we do this every day uh, sorry if it's a little dark in here uh, my ring light broke I still have to buy another one but I had to get this message out here to you guys because it is very concerning something else that we are also noticing in the stores now are food shortages um, now when I say food shortages I don't mean the stores are empty on food I'm saying these are things that happened a couple years ago that we noticed when we were seeing big gaping holes in the stores we're seeing things like uh, crackers and cereal and even some meat products that we're finding holes in of things that were plentiful a month ago are starting to become more noticeable and we've been getting a lot of comments from you guys on some of these products now a lot of of what's been going on uh and thank you all to who have been leaving comments of things that are are missing also if you're new to the channel make sure you you know keep an eye on these things keep an eye on some of these main staples like sugar flour uh milk you know we had an issue with milk a few weeks ago um and let us know your city and state you don't have to like write out your whole city and state just abbreviate it make it easy uh, make it easy on you and everybody else we have a lot of people that follow the comments to try and find the best prices in their state we're stationed here in cincinnati ohio so we're in the heart of it all we're in ohio here but we can only reach out so far being physically in the stores as we can do comparisons with pretty much every state now i'm pretty much convinced we have multiple viewers from every state and all around the world and this is affecting people around the world also not just us Okay, we have viewers in Canada, Australia, Europe, all over the place uh, that are talking about these shortages, mostly price increases. That has been the main focus of the channel probably for the last year or better. But we're starting to see some more of these holes, which may add up. It may not. It may not. Things might start uh, coming back in, and that would be awesome. That would be great. Um, but, you know, we have to keep our eyes out 
on these things because we just never know. I know I was caught so off guard uh, about a year and a half ago, 2021, right in the fall, we were seeing products just disappear. You know, it was like I went into Kroger one day and I did a video and I had a list of things to get and they didn't have anything. And these were like main staple, like sugar. Uh, some of it was random stuff crackers ritz crackers of course <laughs> most of most of you out there know i love my ritz crackers uh but i will not pay 4.29 a box and actually i think i think they recently went up in some stores to 4.49 i'll never pay that uh there was a digital coupon a dollar 99 a box uh it was a while back but i bought i bought a bunch of them because it's like you know i'll save money in the future but i understand a lot of people can't afford to do that um you know like I said, I went to Kroger today, and it's not that I get sticker shock every day, but I, 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 I'm just amazed every time I go to a store, not just Kroger, any store. It's like, if it's not, if it's a place like Dollar Tree, then obviously we're not seeing the prices increase, but we're seeing the product shrink in size, shrinkflation. You know, we're seeing that a lot. We're seeing that in bigger stores also. You know, I noticed that with the Nature Valley granola bars a while back uh, with the oat and honey crunchy bars that I like to get. Um, they have shrunk in size. They used to be probably about, about that big, and now they're like that. So not only are you paying full price, but you're getting less of a product. Another item that I like, but I will not pay $4 a box for. I mean, that's that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but we go over a lot of these things tomorrow. We see a lot of new inconvenience stickers at Kroger that we haven't seen in a while. I try to cover a lot of things that you guys have asked about. So make sure you leave down in the comments some of the things that, you're, that you buy that aren't coming in. And, and we'll have a chance to check it out here in Cincinnati to see if they're coming in here here or maybe where to find it you know this is something that we we do this like I, I keep saying i know i sound like a broken record but we do this every day guys we do this every day because it's important it's important to us that that you guys are not only able to afford the things that you love and get, and get for a good price but also just to make sure that they're getting it in there's other things here at play that we may see in the future that could affect a lot of this stuff as well. As we continue to see prices go up, if we see uh, things go up because of the debt ceiling, if we see things go up because of interest rates, which we surely will, it's going to get even more expensive. It's going to get even more pricey. We're going to have to, I mean, we're already getting so creative with our meals that you know, I don't know what else to do. It's like with prices and everything, you know, we're, we're breaking meals down, cutting them down into small portions, saving a lot more leftovers these days. You know, I, I, I got a couple years ago, I was terrible with leftovers. I mean, we would cook stuff and then it would sit in the, does this sound like you? You have leftovers, you put it in the fridge, you let it sit there for three or four days, and then you just think to yourself, well, it's bad. I might as well throw it away. Now we're actually like packing these meals away, freezing them. Like if I make a big pot of vegetable soup or chicken noodle soup or something, we're, we're putting them in jars and freezing them you know, saving them for future meals. And that ultimately saves us money in the future. And we'll continue to do so. But if these prices hit, you know, like I was saying, we saw we saw a hamburger, which is a, it went up a dollar. I couldn't believe that. Uh, it's like, you know, Laura's Lean, I know it's expensive anyway, but $9.99 a pound. What I fear is that some of these places are going to go out of business. And they're going to go out of business because nobody's going to buy it. Nobody's going to pay those prices. I can't believe that people are spending $5.29 for a 16-ounce box of Raisin Bran at Kroger. I mean, it's cheaper anywhere else, but I mean, you know, it's we're seeing businesses like Aldi and Walmart get, get flooded with business because their prices are cheaper than a lot of these major grocery stores. We're having a, a shop at multiple different stores. Guys, I mean, it's it's crazy, and, and a lot of people, a lot of people around here, don't have a car. They're taking the bus to Kroger, walking across the street to Dollar Tree, and then going to Target. You know, they're going to multiple stores even after taking the bus. 
I mean, you know, these are hard times, but I believe, as we always say on this channel, and, and thank you to everyone who has mentioned it uh, and, and reminding us that we will get through this together. It's not going to be like this forever. Uh, we will adapt. You know, we are, we are resilient. We are, and we will figure out a way to make things better in the future, and we will work on this together. This is why we started this, was so that, you know, eventually we will be able to, it'll be more more fun when things are leveling off and getting better. You know, a year ago, people were asking me, what do I think of these prices? When do you think they'll ever go down? Back then, I was I was saying, you know, all we can do is hope, you know. I mean, it's like, well, I, I, I had a feeling they would go down at some point, but it was before I saw this constant blast, the constant blast of the prices, you know. I mean, anybody that watches this channel, I mean, you know, and, and don't just take my word for it here. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, go back and watch some of our videos on the stores and how we're seeing these prices go up constantly. You know, go back and watch some of our older videos if you, if you want, or just watch in the future, and we'll we'll see together. You know, uh, of these things that are constantly changing. You know, and I, it's like when they say, "Well, change is good." Well, yeah, it is for some things. Not when you're changing how much you're spending every week, though. I mean, it's it's gotten to the point to where. You know, we, like I said, we're, we're having to get creative in things that we've never done before. Some of that change might be good uh, for health reasons. Uh, over the last year, me and Jessica have quit drinking pop uh, for more reasons than just the price, for health reasons and stuff. But, you know, when you, when you cut something out that is not healthy for you, it does kind of want to, uh, you do kind of want to keep doing things that are more healthy for you, like cooking your own meals. You can add whatever spices and amount of sugar or no sugar. I, I notice ever since I quit drinking pop, I have cut out a lot of sweets. You guys know I love my Reese cups. I haven't had a Reese cup since uh, Easter. I did have one on Easter. I had one of them Reese eggs. I couldn't help myself, but, <laughs> and they're delicious and, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's, it's okay to treat yourself, you know, as far, as far as I'm concerned, you know, as far as I am concerned for myself, but we have been trying to, you know, eat healthier. And ultimately that does save you money because you are buying just the cheap of the cheap to make your own meals. Because when you make your own meals, not only are you saving by just adding a little bit of stuff that you use in the meal, but you're also making bigger portions. So you're able to save a lot for your, for your lunch the next day or, or for the next week, you know, and I, I know like when I make a big pot of pot of soup or something, I don't, I'll, I'll usually eat like a little bowl the next morning, but if we freeze it, well, you know, I'm not going to eat it every day, but if you have it frozen, you know, you can spread it out every few days or something. And, uh, it's nice to, nice to have some extra freezer space, which we are out of. Um, but yes, you know, we're doing our best and that's all we can do. That's all we can do is do our best. And, um, guys, I, you know, I thank you all so much. I thank you all for all of your kind words and your support. It has been hard to do this every day. It really is. It does take a little bit out of my soul to constantly bring bad news. I don't know how news reporters and stuff do it. Um, you have to look at the light at the end of the tunnel and just know that it's not going to be forever. You know, this isn't going to be forever. And, hope, if it, and if it is... We'll figure it out. We'll work it out. Again, we'll work it out together. Uh, this, you know, we have a great YouTube family on our channel here that is constantly helping each other, and, and we love you all for that. Uh, I mean, it is really just so amazing how great you guys are and how we all work together. And this is why I talk about, you know, leaving your city. You don't have to. You don't have to leave your city and state or maybe just your state. Don't say, like, your neighborhood or anything like that. Keep all that stuff private it you know but if you if you give your city and state at least we know okay so there's there's no rice in the city of Tulsa Oklahoma you know if you say that or or what even what store because you don't want to freak nobody out by the way I have not just made that up so <laughs> but you know and that's that's been a big one too uh that's been one that, that hundreds of people have been commenting is that 
rice and beans have been out of a lot of stores. I have a lot of viewers send me emails and stuff um, of pictures and stuff like that. I do not post those on the videos, um, but I appreciate you sending them um, because we get a good idea of what's going on. Um, and there's been a couple comments through a couple videos that we've done over the last week on some of these shortages, you know, for me to show some of this stuff. I show them as we go along, not a, like I said, it's not like the stores are empty. So when I show when I show like a gaping hole somewhere, these are things that have not been coming in. For for example, let's talk about the canned mushrooms. Okay, I know our longtime viewers are like, "Wow, he just keep talking about canned mushrooms." But my point is, is that this is something that's been gone for so long. We may see some name brands go out of business. Maybe they can't keep up. Right, I mean, we're seeing can when we do see canned mushrooms, they're crazy overpriced. A store, if I if I ran Meyer and I was like, nobody's gonna buy a small can of mushrooms for two dollars and eighty five cents. Nobody. Why would I sell them? Why would I even put them on the shelf? It's just a wasted space. We're, and as a matter of fact, we see Wal Walmart is probably number one because they have so much different stuff they could just fill in that gap because that's what we'll see. We'll see, you know, people keep commenting on things going away at Walmart and stuff. People were talking about, uh, uh, somebody was mentioning tissues, right? And I, I do go over a shortage of tissues at like Kroger today, uh, which will come out tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning Eastern time. If you want to check that out, I recommend it. Uh, we do see a lot of different shortages, a lot of holes, right? But these things create trends, right? If we see the same thing next week, we know it's an issue, right? Because we, we're talking about things we saw last week and seeing them today, we don't see them next week well then there's one of a million different things that could be going on we can't really pin it on one thing uh, one thing i will say is it's not it's not employee shortages at that point uh the kroger i went to today is fully staffed uh they have a lot of employees and, and they're really good at getting the things out as they have them and so i trust that if we're seeing a lot of holes there then there's an issue and they're very good at putting those inconvenience stickers up because they you know they i kind of use that as a marker as a marker of like okay if i see this here in a couple weeks and it's still not coming in well we know that that's not kroger's fault that is because they're not sending the product whoever the pro wherever the pro excuse me wherever the product is coming from they're not sending it. Now, I know a question that's already going to come up in your guys' minds. <laughs> we talk about this stuff a lot. Um, the the store brands seem to be the most that are usually missing, and that is true. So that could have something to do with ingredients, and that could have something to do with the other stores too. But we need to think of that because I know being – right down the street from Kroger headquarters where they make a lot of their products their their plant is right down the road here and they have a few different plants scattered throughout uh Kentucky and northern Ohio but the big one is right down the road here near downtown Cincinnati uh and we know that a lot of the issues when that this was happening before was ingredients ingredients so um if they're not getting the ingredients to make the product they can't make the product they can't send it out now we had an issue a year and a half ago that were like a multitude of different things there was the truck drivers uh hiring truck drivers i you know i guess there was an issue with that um and, and you know people w w when the whole uh cough cough thing was going on you know there were a lot of people who one lost their job or they got different jobs you know and it's like we're just now starting to pick up you know different people with different jobs like i was saying you know me and my wife talk about this all the time you know what happened with a lot of different things or people was that your waitresses bartenders people who couldn't work during all this they went worked for the airports or, or DHL or Amazon, right? And it's like, okay, so you're making $20 an hour, which they're probably making way more than that now, right? I mean, even the Kroger plant was hiring for 20 something an hour, right? I mean, that's pretty good money when, you know, and, and, and then you're becoming, you were an essential worker. So you were able to work, you know, to get food out to people. I mean, that's essential. <laughs> I think it's all essential. I think it should have never happened, but you know, that's just my opinion. Uh, 
what do I know? But anyway, like back then, there was a multitude of different things that were causing a lot of different shortages. But as we start to see prices go up on things with money, uh, debt ceiling talk, which <laughs> it's probably going to happen, you know, uh, and the uh, interest rates that are probably going to be going back up after tonight. I'm curious to see what what they have to say about the interest rates because we're, you know, we're seeing a lot of issues with housing, you know, not just food. We're seeing housing, you know, uh, very expensive, unaffordable, unaffordable housing, and, and you know, it's it's only going to make that worse. It's going to make it near impossible to buy a car, you know, and, <laughs> you know, it's just a lot of these things and all of these things add up to higher prices at the grocery stores. And I, I hate to say that, but I mean, if these things continue to go up, we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. We will make sure that we are finding the cheapest prices that we can. Um, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about all this. Um, you know, like we always say, we'll get through this together and, um, we'll work it out. It'll, it'll all, it'll all come together and, and we will figure it all out. Also, we've had a couple comments lately of some people that haven't been able to afford food. Let me say this. There are food pantries. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. There are food pantries. There are churches. I never knew how many churches actually give out food. Don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, these are trying times. And as hard as it is uh, for, for everyone, people who have nothing, I, I can only imagine it. And our hearts and prayers go out to you. Um, I know we got a couple emails from people and it was uh, pretty hard to read. And um, I, I know you. some people just don't want to comment in the comments and send me an email and that's okay. Just just know that I get about 100 emails a day. So it may take me a while to get to you. But Guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Wanted to put this message out here because I feel it's very important. We need to keep our eyes open. We need to be as vigilant as ever so that we can save money wherever we can because things are going up and we're going to need it. Guys, thank you so much. Have a great night.